Kathleen Flynn. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be talking about knives. And so I wrote a book with the word knife in the title. It is obviously something that's very important to me. So we're going to talk about a few basic things today. Uh, how to choose a knife, how to hold a knife, and a couple of really basic knife cuts. Let's get to it. So here, behold, two of my knives. So. So you say you want to buy a knife, but you really don't know much about what to choose, what to look for. So we're going to start by talking about the anatomy of a knife. First we have the blade, that's pretty straightforward. This is the tip, this is the spine, and this is what they call the tang. It's actually the part of the knife that continues down into the handle. A full tang is when it goes all the way around. In this case you can actually see it, and some other knives you can. There's also the fact of whether or not it has a bolster. This means that it's been forged and not stamped. The difference between a forged knife and a stamped knife is to think about it as if this was cut out of a big sheet of metal with a cookie cutter. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean that it's a cheap knife or a bad knife. In fact, this is a shun knife. It's a perfectly good knife. It's just a very, it's just a different way of putting them together. Having said that, it's about 47 more steps in order to make a forged knife. So they are traditionally more expensive and better quality knives. So you picked out your knife, and the other thing you need to know how to do is hold it. So most people do what I call the death grip. It's like this. Also, there's also the classic, <laughs> that's wrong too. So what you want to do is put it across your palm and then grab it with three fingers on the handle, and then grab the knife, either side, thumb, and forefinger. When you do this, it allows you to have a lot more control over the knife, as opposed to, say, if you're like this, where the knife will wobble. It's a little awkward to get used to it, but the idea is that you want to do more of a rocking. You don't want to put your finger out like this. It makes your fingers very tired very quickly. Just try like that, get used to it. And the way you do that is by chopping a lot.